Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Quality Pops. My name is Jonathan Taylor Thomas, and today we are creating two versions of a werewolf. We're creating a cute version and a terrifying version. This terrifying version, I am here for this. It looks bomb, so let's get started. Now before we begin, make sure you hit that like button as well as the notification bell so that you can see all of the videos I post on this channel as they go up. I post two videos a week, Tuesday and Thursday, and they're pretty cool, you guys, so do it. Now to create this werewolf, I'm starting with a 10 inch square cake. I'm creating just a basic shape, it almost looks like the plates on a baseball field. I don't even know what they're called. I don't play sports, you guys. <laughs> it's just an octagon. It's basically an octagon. Now we got some funfetti cake. We got a little bit of icing. Just making a big cake sandwich, really. I didn't flatten my cake at all just because I'm going to use it to achieve all of my werewolf accents and details yes and I started to map it out just a little bit this of all of the like monster cakes I've created this probably has the most symmetry I just did this on the fly I'm making this character up so it was easy for me to just wing it when you're doing a character that everybody's familiar with you have to get all of the features right in the right place but with stuff like this where I actually get to just be creative I don't worry about it so much I gave this cake a crumb coat and while it was sitting in the fridge I started working on the cute version of my werewolf he trying to look scared but he's not scared he's not scary at all So I'm using a 5 inch round cake. I just leveled off the top and cut it in half. Then I placed on a template. Um, I created this on the fly as well, um, but I just want it to be more symmetrical than the other cake. There is no carving really. I mean, besides carving the basic shape, I just gave this baby a crumb coat and it was ready for my first layer of fondant. I didn't even put it in the fridge or anything. Ooh, what color is this? It's like a muted blue. I don't even know if I have this color. Oh, it's like a striking blue. Just a hint of green and a lot of gray. It looks really nice. Now all of my wolf's features, my kawaii wolf's features are going to be created with fondant and I wanted him to have brown eyes. I thought it would look really good against the blue. So we've got some light and dark shadowing to give his eyes a little bit more detail right before I added the pupils to the middle. And that itty bitty nose. If I were to do this again, I think his nose would be a little bit higher just so his mouth would line up with the bottom of his eyes. And maybe his eyes would be a little bit more far apart, but it's too late now. Now I'm adding just a little bit more werewolfy detail. And voila! My kawaii cute werewolf is complete. Now in hindsight, there are some small details that I would have shifted just a little bit, but it's too late now. Let's get back to the terrifying version of this cake. Now I wanted to highlight more of the wolf's features, so I'm adding fondant to the top of my cake for his brow line, his snout, um, and a little bit of his chin. Then I covered it with a lighter piece of my, what is it called? Striking fondant. Actually, it's not. The striking is too bright. So we've got this grayish blue. Ooh, it doesn't look nice at all, but it's not trying to look cute. It's trying to look terrifying, so it's fine. Now I wanted most of his face to not have fur. 
because he's a werewolf, so he's half man. Uh, so I'm adding a gray piece of fondant so that it separates the face from the rest of his fur. Makes him look a little bit more werewolfy. Now, I was kind of on the fence about how human I wanted this to look. I just went for a scary looking wolf. You know, I feel like his body would look more human than his face. But the fact that most of his head is his skin, I think that's what makes him look most like a werewolf. I gave him a fork tongue too. I thought that looked really cute. Look at that fork. Now I had to map out how I wanted his fur to look. So I started with very soft fondant tools and I just worked my way to using very sharp, hard fondant tools so I could get a lot of fur detail. And because I spent so much time working on the face, the fondant started to dry out. So I wet it with magic sauce just so that when I started to add all the fur detail, it wouldn't crust and crack. Then I added some fondant pieces just to blend his face into the rest of the cake. That looks pretty sick, doesn't it? All of those torn fondant pieces really looks like fur. Now we got two ears and I guess the placement of the ears because they're so high up makes it look more like a werewolf as opposed to just a wolf. But I don't know, it's a make-believe character, so it doesn't really even matter. When I was adding the teeth, I was kind of scared that it was going to look more like a rat. And I wanted to do a rat, so I wanted to make sure that my werewolf looked very different. And I'm adding the gum line, my favorite part, and then his eyes. It's so easy to do eyelids when you're working with a character that is scary. When you're working with something that has a smooth face, it's hard to put on eyelids. It's hard to blend the fondant into the rest of the cake. Now I'm using some diluted magic sauce with a little bit of blue and black food coloring just to get into all of the fur crevices I created. And then I started to add a little bit of diluted red food coloring just to look like human skin along his eyes, his nose, and a little bit around his mouth. And then I added some detail to his teeth. I thought it looked too put together, which is why I decided to give him a scar on the right eye. I really did want him to look like he'd been through some stuff. Like somebody tried to kill him, tried to gouge out his eye, and that didn't slow him down at all. After I finished gouging out his eye, my terrifying werewolf was complete. Sick, right? This looks so good. Those teeth look so realistic. And all of the diluted red food coloring that I placed along his eyes make this stand out so much. Now I'm curious, which one of my werewolves do you like the best? Do you like the cute version or do you like the terrifying version? The terrifying version is definitely my favorite. I feel like I accomplished so much. Now I've got an entire playlist of cute and scary cakes for you guys. Make sure you check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!